So hi, this is Jennifer Winget. Subscribe to Siddharth Kanan. Uh, are you are you re- open to love? Are you ready for love? I'm always open for love. I've always been open to love, and um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see when. We'll see whenever. Whatever. <laughs> no, like they say that once you're open to it, it just happens. Organic. I've always been open to it. <laughs> but look at the the. It the, has the, happened. I've always been open to it. <laughs> okay, but tell me somewhere you've given a quote saying. Maybe guys get intimidated by you. Is that uh, the truth? It it has happened, okay. But I think, and this the quote that you're talking about, I think is about two three years ago. Okay, I was also a different person then. The people that I was meeting were very different than the kind of people I meet today. Uh, the I think in the last two years, the world has evolved, okay, uh, because of this whole pandemic. We've all become a little more um self sufficient you know and uh, so the uh, perspective has changed on life and now i think i want to people are intimidated by me but people just think are nahi yaar <laughs> you know like nahi yaar nahi yaar i don't know why <laughs> but tell me because you're a celebrity and because there's some kind of an aura which you carry beautifully sometimes when you like a guy do you feel i should walk up to him tell him hey you're very cute or you hold yourself back i i have never experienced that i have never uh, been in a situation like that where i had to go to a guy and say hey good looking what's cooking na na <laughs> I don't think I've been in that scenario ever. People see success. They see Jennifer Winget has made it big. Tell me about that one moment which was tough for you, but you're proud that you conquered it. What was that? I mean, it. Ha- I don't like talking about it, but if it has, if I have to, I think my uh, separation was uh, was uh, because it was. you know out in the public i so much and that time i wasn't even on social media or anything that time and people were writing a lot of shit about about him also about me also when there was no truth to it so i think that was a very unnecessary invasion of privacy where at that time for both of us privacy was very very important so that period of my life was was very stressful um uh, and uh, i i also was a little lost that time because i don't know i didn't know what was happening and how to kind of deal with this and then i just kind of you know kind of went back into my shell and took some time off and fortunately work helped me to to kind of get over you know that situation and just come back with uh, with just this energy and i am so thankful that 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 situation happened because after that i just i i honestly i just realized that there is so much more that i have to offer still and there is so much strength in me and there is so much love that i have received from everybody around me that there was there was no way where i could be like oh my god now what do i do no i there was so much to do and um, yeah that 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 period was was challenging but when i was out of it it was ex- it was exhilarating it was like it was like i just found uh, this this new life it was like jennifer 2.0 wow but you know what like they say every tough moment whatever it could be personal or professional right. at time you know pains but when you look back in life Absolutely. it makes you discover yourself and makes you stronger and you say and what's life if it's rosy right absolutely i 100% agree with you i mean uh you know i learned so much during that time i learned so much about myself during that time i had it just i it's it's like you know you said it right there was so much that i didn't know about myself there is so much more that i discovered about myself that and it was easy I I thought that I could never do certain things and when I did them I was like hell yeah why did I do this so many so many years ago so it was when you look back at it in hindsight it kind of 
you're like thank god you know like I, I that happened and it was just it was amazing now when i look back at it i think it was the best time of my life at that time i didn't feel so but now i'm like thank god you know whatever happened happened because i'm so much better now okay now tell me what comes to your mind when i take these co-actors and let me tell you all your co-actors sure really really adore you likewise same and, me too and I, and, 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 and i and i know why now Okay. <laughs> so sweet you are that. Uh. <laughs> okay, so here goes Kushal Tandon. Naughty, naughty as you know, naughty. Any incident? I, I, you know, so why I say naughty is because I remember this. So I, something had happened, and I I don't know. I think we were upset with each other, or something had happened. I don't remember what. And I I can't stand the smell of elaichi. Okay, I just cannot. and the smell of elaichi and he had a habit of eating elaichi and then one day something had happened and we were upset with each other and he and you know even if the person next to you is eating elaichi the whole room smells of it okay at least for me and he knows and he's eating elaichi there and i'm just looking at him and my i'm like can you not do that please so he is a brat he is a naughty naughty boy wow harsha chopra um sensible yeah so so when when he is around you what has happened is it a very quiet mahol is it getting into <laughs> character more of mahol yeah he is very serious about like before his scene he is like full in that zone and all of that but uh, otherwise he is a very he is a very normal boy with you know he's a he's a fun boy is is a lot of fun to be around but yeah, when it comes to important scenes he'll be like you know all prep and ready and like full focused <laughs> So it's simple and sensible. Let me. Yeah, that's better way of describing him. Beautiful way to define someone. Karan Vahi. Ah, uh, he's a sweetheart. He's. I mean, we've been friends for the last I don't know thirteen, fourteen years, and uh, although we've only worked together once uh, during Dil Mil Gaye, but I think Karan and I we've all kind of grown up together. You know. uh because we have a lot of friends in common and uh we hang out a lot so i think with vahi it's like we've grown up together okay last name sehban azim same i think vahi sehban we all have like this common group of people who uh you know you see all of us together on birthdays or christmases or so they we're all part of this one big group and uh, i mean these these guys have been uh very very strongly with me during all of my this this my whole journey so yeah they're like my buddies You know, I love the way when I was talking about Hina, you stood up and says, "Go for it." You also acknowledge the fact that they are like flag bearers of getting television yeah, out there. Yeah, yeah, so, it's a big thing, man, and it's amazing. So Hina Khan, who Drashti Dhami, who Ekta Kapoor, what is that one thing that you say we all have this one thing in common? I think the hunger and the need to prove that television industry is no less. the 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 you know वो एक क्या बोलते हैं जज्बा होता है ना कि कि हम like give us an equal opportunity that you give everyone because we can kick ass and and because our foundation has been TV and TV teaches you to be resilient you know to work in any situation like uh, uh, you have to deliver in TV you know don't care about time this and that but you know that when there is a responsibility on you you have to deliver no matter what the situation and circumstance my last question when you keep saying tv 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 has there been a moment when someone says you know what you're from tv so jennifer ab film mat karo kyunki aapka chehra yeah. sabne dekha hua hai ya yeah. fir when you're walking the red carpet like you said a designer told you You know, I like you. You're so pretty. You're this, this, this. But कपड़े आने का वक्त तो गया है. No, I mean, I designer के साथ ऐसा नहीं हुआ है. But there have been. I've gone to to meetings and lost project because नहीं यार because there is this preconceived notion that no, yeah, she's done TV. She's you know she can only do these serious kind of psychopath roles. So yeah, I, that has happened to me, and it's 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 sad, but. it is what it is and 
fortunately i uh, you know things are changing now so fingers crossed what qualities would jennifer like in her life partner ay 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 ah must love dogs for sure cuz uh, i cannot be with a person who who who, who doesn't like dogs that and you know uh, the others love trust humor is very important very very important and just just to be able to have that that um uh, charity that you know life is not all rosy even if you get an the most ideal partner there will be ups and downs in life just to be able to have that quality that no matter what life throws at us we will uh do it together so that is very important jennifer code m season 1 season 2 is going to be successful we all know that okay so i'm 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 stating the obvious Ah, uh, thanks. I, that means but, a lot. But I am going to wish that you get code H all your life, wow. which is code of happiness. All right. Oh, that's lovely. I love that. Yeah. That is so cool. I love that. Thank you so much, Sid. Thank you so much. Your words mean a lot, and I hope we get to chat more often on uh, life and everything else. Got your back, lady. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was lovely, lovely chatting with you.